So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co-capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. 
I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose. A nasty fall or a bullet to the head. That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. She was out on one of the balcony, and I hoped not about to be thrown off. Sur Max Payne 3, l'épisode numéro 1, le chapitre 1, car nous ferons chapitre par chapitre, bien sûr. Dans ce nouveau let's play que je voulais vraiment vous faire. Donc on y va, c'est parti. Comme tu le vois, j'étais terroriste au cul. It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Bon, allez, vas-y, 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 allez. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's got to go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. Ah, bah, moi, je l'ai sauvé. Qu'est-ce qu'elle se plaint? I imagined the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. What have you done with him? Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. I had to keep moving. Je vais voir, ce jeu, je vais y arriver. Regardez. Hop. Allez, il est mort. On va reprendre ses cartouches. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Well, almost as much as I did.
Oh lui c'était le dernier, voilà. Oui bah oui, ok. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Dragging the Bronco along would slow them down, but not much. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Ah, ouais. Another parking lot. Regardez là, ceci, ici. Was I too late? Ça défonce en fait hein. Rodrigo, it's Max. homens assim. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Vá de donc. Uau. Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Ajuda. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Dans l'alcool. Ça accordait un peu de repos, mais dans l'alcool. Oula Bon, il est reine mort. Ah, bah ça, quand on boit trop, voilà ce qui arrive. On dégueule. Et avec ça, je pense que j'étais prêt pour le bed.
Chapitre 2, déjà? A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up where people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> Ah bah tout sur la tête hein. C'est bon en plus. I love this place. I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Allez, boîte de nuit. Mais c'est trop beau pour euh, que ce soit tranquille. Hein. Ok. Ça la blonde a bien foutu hein. Ah vrai oui, ça reste un jeu, je sais. Mais ils ont vraiment bien travaillé les, les décors, l'ambiance, c'est vraiment vraiment un bon jeu euh, pour, pour l'époque. Il est sorti en 2008, je crois. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking movie from a fucking slump. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max. Mais lui, il boit tout le temps, lui. Vas-y, hein. Tu lui, va. Il est censé être sur ses heures de boulot. Listen to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. 
think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, oh, my oh, nigga! Oh, how are you? What you been, Mo? What you been? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Oh, là, enlèvement. Ouais Trop de la balle Allez, fermez le touch vocal, allez, on arrive Bing I hadn't seen it coming, but that was no surprise. Uh, no, it's hard to keep back. your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians. Some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual. Scored goals, scored girls. Yeah, 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 the only yeah. box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. I couldn't afford. J'aimerais bien récupérer de la vie en fait. Hey, San Paolo's favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find God. the girls. 
car. They didn't think they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind you. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. I attacked one up. Unfinished business, and all I could think about was my well, unfinished so well, scotch. Well, on va par là. Allez, c'est parti. Much as I like to indulge in self-reflection, this wasn't the time. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to oh, so like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. This wasn't the time to be second guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. Well, for the brothers, I think. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What 
out of view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Now, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just a guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, but were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? We can't just leave her. Max, you gotta do something. Come on, get the rifle back there. Putain, mais ça défonce en fait. Ah putain c'est chaud hein. Show. 
Wow, that's it. What's it? Clearly somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Vale tú, vale. Il y avait un stade aussi que c'est... Bon, de toute façon, c'est bientôt la fin de cette heure.
Vale, Mapuco, vale, ya la. The odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already. I was guessing well, pretty soon she'd start that, wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation as I did. Maybe that's why we got along. It was Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. Mm. On va essayer de la trouver, hein. I had already wasted enough time. If I had any hope of saving. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! No! What are you doing? Giovanna! Hey! No, nothing. Oh. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. Ah, et revois un coup. En tout cas, nous, on va se quitter sur ces images. J'espère que cet épisode vous aura plu. Ce nouveau let's play, il va vous plaire, je l'espère. N'hésitez pas à venir vous abonner si ça n'est pas déjà fait. Partagez la chaîne sur vos réseaux sociaux pour monter en abonné. Et de laisser un petit like et un petit commentaire si ça vous fait plaisir, qui fait toujours plaisir. Et n'hésitez pas non plus à regarder d'anciennes vidéos. Sur ce, je vous laisse, je vous dis à la prochaine. Well, Allez, ciao tout le monde. Nous n'avons jamais payé nos ransoms before. Mais je ne sais pas. Je n'aime pas le feeling de ça. Qu'est-ce que tu Max Je ne sais pas. I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them. But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters. Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. I have no idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I should run my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. Hey, put the gun down. Put down your gun. Bota the sign on the show agora. Slow, slow, slow. No passa nada, estúpido. Me mostra o dinheiro. What's he saying? Open the bag. Show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra. Depressa. Easy, pal. Easy. Vem. Apparently, 
someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. Shit, Max, get off that field! Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. Come on, move, Max. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I'd been shot more times than I could remember, but this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I'd just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. 